What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jared. Y'all, Kendra G is back at it again. This time we got a baby mama again, like always. But um, this one's gonna be worse than the last few. Took one of her baby daddies back 14 times. And she's still trying to get divorced from her husband. What the fuck is going on? Hi, your friend. Hey, girl. How are you? Good. This you remember me, right? Me. I you don't. Remember me. You don't remember me? I don't remember you. You do remember me. We have. If she says she don't remember you. I wouldn't even remember this much ugly. God damn. Had two different encounters. We did? Yes, I'm the one that we talked on um, Super Bowl Sunday. And then we talked again when I was telling you about my girls. And I saw you in person on Super Bowl Sunday? No, we were, we were here. We were here. You were getting ready to go I to the did. game. I was on a, I didn't do a show Super Bowl Sunday. Yes, you did. You did it with, you did it. And you did it with me because you was like, girl, she going to have me cussing on Sunday. I didn't go to church and I'm trying to go to the Super Bowl Super party. Bowl. Yes, ma'am. No, I, I actually went to the Super Bowl this year. That's why I know I didn't do a show on Super Bowl Sunday. Last year. Last oh, year. Last year. You said this yeah. year. You think somebody going to remember some shit from last year? Wait, of course you would. You ain't got shit going on. Yeah, this is a new I year. Last year. Bowl last year, too. I talked to you then. Go, you know who I am. You just gotta remember my face. That's all. Okay, Tip. so what? Okay, I, I was the I, one. Huh? I was the one that was ha that was giving you issues when I didn't want to get into the camera the first time. Girl, that happens all the time over here. But I, okay, all right. Well, but a... let me spell that out for you, sweetheart. You ain't that rememberable. There, I helped you out. Damn, what the fuck going on my damn computer? Update, but do, do you have an update? Yes, I do. I have an update. Um, I'm no longer working for anybody. I have just now created. I was working at Walmart. I used to work at Walmart, remember? And you was like, girl, oh, okay, yeah. Man. Yeah. She got fired from Wally World. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Kendra Kim, that's when you stand up and we that's see your full body. Right now. I'm not in camera mode. <laughs> Good. Ooh. Ooh. God damn. Um fuck. Um god damn. Whew, shit. Oh <laughs> Ooh, fuck. <laughs> oh god. Mm, damn, my, my stomach got turned. <laughs> god damn shit. Mm. Lord Jesus. <laughs> I need to take it I need to go pray right now. <laughs> what the fuck? You got ugly number one on the bottom, and then Kendra. What the fuck is that hairstyle? I'm not. Uh, well, well, you gotta do. It and disconnect me. Well, you gotta do the Kendra. Well, what? Well, yeah, I should. I should have asked you that in the beginning. That's part of the show. Okay. The rule of the show is you gotta do the Kendra. Kendra. I'm, in, I'm in the hold. Well, why, 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 why can't you do it right I'm now? Why can't you do it? to stand up and show my whole self. Can you go put some pants on? But I'm not in that mode to do it. I just, I have to see you on, hi. and I was like, oh, can you? Hi. I said, hi, hi. Hi, sweetheart. Why the fuck y'all love putting y'all kids in the galley camera? In the damn camera. Tiffany, are you, are you, are you familiar with the show? I'm are you familiar with, you want, with my show? That was a little shaky one because she gave you attitude, so it didn't last long. That we about to oh no, I'm going go to go through the same thing. I'll give you one. I'll hang up before I do that. Okay, so, well, we're going to end right now if you, if you can't do the Kendrick here. Child, and y'all be getting on me when I when I be a bitch. I, I, I purposely don't try to be as a bitch as much so y'all can see why I be coming a bitch in the first place. Yeah. I'm no... At that point, at that moment in time last year, I'm glad I was not doing her damn video reviews. Boy, at this point, I would take a 1967 Plymouth 
Fury wagon that's got rust spots all over the damn place. At this point, what the fuck was that? No longer working for anybody anymore. I have now created my own business. And so that's flourishing. I'm getting started with that. And uh, my kids, still my kids. I got two grandsons now. My new grandson is two months old. He's adorable and spoiled. Well, Tiffany, and I, I love all that. But and I'm single. Updates, about, I'm single. About dating. <laughs> huh? Have you? Did you meet a man? That's the update. Yeah, that was I was just in a relationship. I was just in a relationship last year, and it got ugly. We was together for a year. And then I was I was working my job and I was in my 90 days and he was not happy because I wasn't spending the time with him. He wanted. So he tried to unalive me he because I, because I was not giving him the time he wanted. And. Huh? You know what? At this point, you can't make this bullshit up. What the fuck? does? <sighs> It went, it, it was like over time and he just spazzed out. And so I had to call the cops and then he left and disappeared. And so it's just been me since. So I just been taking that time to get myself together and, you know, be here for my kids and get my stuff together on my business that I'm doing and focus on me pretty much. Okay. So I want to say this. I really did not remember at first. What business do your ass have? Other than fucking selling fucking hair. What business do your ass fucking have? Um, I think you threw me off when you said Super Bowl because I know this year I didn't do a show be it before I went to the Super Bowl. I didn't do a show before the Super Bowl this year. I did last year when I was in Arizona. Mm -hmm. And um I remember your attitude, your demeanor mm -hmm. was Shitty. that's what made me remember. <laughs> so I do yeah. like, I, I didn't remember her at first, but I do remember her now. So are you trying to do it again? Oh, yeah, sure. That's why I came on. I'm in a whole different mind space. All right. So, Tiffany, and where do you yes. live again? I'm in Spartanburg, South Carolina. South Carolina. Oh, hell no. Nah. She near me. God damn. She is near me. Fuck this. How old are you? I am 43 until June. Okay, what's your zodiac sign? Cancer. Make sure the light is in your face, because right now it's behind you. It's cancer. How many mm -hmm. kids do you have again? I have three. And how old are your three kids? 24, 7, and 4. Um, all by the same man? No. How many men? Three. Yes. Huh? I'm listening. Why are you not with the four-year-old dad? Didn't act right. He won't. He can't get right. Can't get right. You. He was. A, he was. He act right enough to, for you to get pregnant, but you ain't with him now. You have a four-year-old child, and you have a two-month-year-old. Grandchild, how does this shit make sense? You have a two-month-old uh, grandchild and a four-year-old uh, son. Boy, he, he won't act right. He won't. He just won't act right. And so I just let it go because it won't work. Okay. We, we tried 14, 14 times. It it just wouldn't work. Yes. You he left me. It. Yeah. <laughs> 14 times? Yeah. He, it, he's within four years. We've been together. We was together four years. Within four years, I let him come back 14 times. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five. Not six, not even seven, not eight, not nine, not ten, not eleven, not twelve, not thirteen, but fourteen times she let this dust bucket come back and she and um this is a four year old son, her four year old uh, child's dad. 
she let come back 14 times in four years. So you're telling me out of four years, 14 times, you didn't get the hint that that nigga won shit. Matter of fact, so much so, so much dis dysfunction, so much of that, so much of this. You got pregnant by this man and y'all started breaking up 14 different times. And now you want somebody else. On what planet does this shit make sense? And what 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 you what a galaxy, what universe does this shit make sense? Oh God! Well, how long would he be gone for a day? He would be gone. He was having struggles within himself, so he would go out and have to, you know. He we would act a fool here, then he'll leave and realize that his best spot was here with me, and then it'll he would go out, smash other women, and you come back to your dumb ass and you took him back. Stop trying to sugarcoat the bullshit. Restart again. So that got played out within year four, and I said, screw it, and that was that. And it didn't get played out at fucking time, uh, at fucking the th of the third time, the fourth, the second time, it didn't get played out. Took you 14 times. Better. I said screw it after that and that was that I let her play in the water that's why I'm out here okay alright and then so you're an entrepreneur now you said yes ma'am you're an entrepreneur and no she ain't she slapped that on there like she slapped that like she damn get that man fucking child fuck she ain't a damn entrepreneur if entrepreneur is like her having having a fucking kid at fucking 39 years old and had taken her baby that her baby daddy back 14 different fucking times. That's an entrepreneur, sure. Yeah, she's an entrepreneur. And what's in your cancer? So we got Tiffany, South Carolina, 43, entrepreneur, mom of three kids, by three men. Have you ever been married? I am separated currently. You're married See, my right ex husband. My ex-husband's in a nursing home. Okay, you can't be on, was you married last time? You can't be on the show married. Well, yes, I've been separated since 14, so yeah. Since 2020? 2004, he's been. Wait, let me get this fucking stupid shit right. Hold up, wait, wait, wait. So, your husband is in a nursing home. Y'all been separated for 10 years. You just had a baby. At 39 years old, with a man that you that you took back 14 different times. What the fuck is this? So in the court of law, your child that is four years old will be your husband's child by marriage. And you have a whole baby daddy over there. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I'm about to break every fucking thing in this room. This makes no fucking sense. This, 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 this that bullshit I'm talking about. God damn, God damn. This that shit I'm talking about. Where, how the fuck does this shit make sense? I'm literally, my brain is literally, I can see the smoke coming out of my eardrums trying to figure out how the fuck this makes sense. This shit don't make a damn bit of sense. Worth a, you know what? Fuck it. He's been in nursing home since 2014. Oh, but you know what? I feel like our interview ended early in the last interview, right? No, it didn't actually. It ended good. It was a good one. It was good. It was a real positive one. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if... If you being like that and her looking like that was a positive note when y'all fucking... When y'all hung up like that, 
then I must not know what the fuck positivity is at this point. I knew that, but we can't have any married people on the show, so you got to be divorced, honey, That's to cool. look for someone. That's cool. That's cool. No, no problem. Okay. So the guy you was just dating, you were dating somebody while you're still legally married? Yeah, because like I said, he's in he's in North Carolina in a nursing home, and we haven't been you know, together since okay. what? You we haven't been together you since then, huh? You know, when do you plan on getting an official divorce? And that's the problem. the The problem is by him being in a nursing home and me being here. The courts are trying to say that my two small children are his because I was married to him while they were being, you know, being born. So. Like I just said, so she cheated on this man. So the judge won't approve my 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 divorce because he wants a blood test to verify that my ex isn't that my children aren't my exes. And I'm like, well, what did I do? Go to North Carolina on two separate occasions, get some, come back home and let me rewind this bullshit again. Hold up. Let me rewind it because I want I want I want y'all to hear what she just said before I fucking start. Prove my 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 divorce. And that's the problem. The the problem is by him being in a nursing home and me being here, the courts are trying to say that my two small children are his because I was married to him while they were being you know being born. So the judge won't approve my 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 divorce because he wants a blood test to verify that my ex isn't that my children aren't my exes and i'm like well what did i do go to north carolina on two separate occasions get some come back home and get pregnant and do it again like no and y'all supposed to be the most educated y'all dumbass is supposed to be the most educated so let me tell you what the fuck the judge said in legal terms they want to verify that the child, that your child's, that your children, your two youngest children, are not your exes, so that they don't slap your ex-husband with child support. Okay, they're trying to confirm that those two children are not his, so that he does not get slapped with child support. That's why the judge denied you the divorce. For y'all to be the most educated women, the most, the most, have the most degrees out of any demographic of women, y'all say, y'all sure are some stupid motherfuckers at that. <sighs> the judge literally told you, we have to confirm that that, that the kids are not his. It's basically what it said in legal terms. You just repeated the shit and your stupid ass don't even realize. Wait a minute. Matter of fact, you do realize it. You just want to sound like you just want to sound like you don't know what the fuck going on. You know what the fuck going on. You got knocked up by two different niggas and you over here talking about. I didn't. What did I do? Go to North Carolina and get some damn fucking a, a sample, two samples from him. And I had children. We know you. We know you didn't damn do that shit. You broads are just dumb. Oh, like makes specifically the broads on Kendra G show. Sense. So that's my struggle. So is he any of your children's dads? He doesn't. We had a dog. That's all we had together was a dog. So when did you get married? To so you a baby mama before? So this so this dude, this poor dumb bastard took you took you when you had a child. When you had a child, this poor dumb bastard took you when you had a child. You guys, you separated in 2014 and moved to Spartanburg and you got knocked up to by two different niggas while still being married to this motherfucker. And you don't want to get a divorce because you don't want the, you don't want the court to verify that the children are not his. Ain't this some bullshit if I've heard it. This man? 2012. And okay, how long have I been separated? To since 2014. 
So then why your ass ain't get divorced? So basically, I've been separated since 2014. That only lasted two years. Ma'am, you are a fucking ish. You are the fucking red flag that keeps on giving. You keep marching to your own beat of your drum. You are the fucking problem. Nobody's going to take you serious. Now, nor did the poor ambassador that got you knocked up the first time, the second time, and the last time, which is this dumbass that you took about 14 different times. You are the fucking dumbass that keeps on giving. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the stupidest motherfucker of the century. Welcome to it. This is her face right here. Plaster it all over YouTube. So we've been separated for 10 years. Girl, the judge won't, the judge won't approve it. He go won't allow my divorce to go through. So go get the, the DNA test, handle it. Well, that's another problem because by him being in North Carolina in the nursing home, the nursing home gives me issues because he had some paperwork done to where he don't want my affiliation anywhere. So he's kind of. So basically he put a, he put a damn uh, note. He, what was it called? He basically filed a restraining order against you. Ain't you the damn thing? Ain't this is the show that keeps on giving? Kind of making it hard for me to where he's kind of like holding on to nothing, to like a just drag. No, he ain't holding on to shit. He trying to damn. He basically telling you to get the fuck away from me. I run and and it's you know what I'm saying I want to be free from him. Name and all. We're not together. We have no attachments. I ain't got the dog no more. So there's nothing for, I mean, like for real, we don't have nothing to hold on to. There's no connection at all. So I'm so just. You, so, so are you saying it's virtually impossible for you to get a divorce? It wouldn't be impossible. She's just, she don't want to, she just don't want to do the right steps. It's not impossible. This chick know what the fuck she doing. She collecting them. She she collecting. She collected money from this dude. That's why she ain't got a divorce. She collected money. Talk about I got a business. Bitch, know your ass don't. You broke. Shut up. When I went to the court last, the judge made it seem like it was so simple. Oh, yeah, just go and do the blood test and do the drug test, the blood test, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. On my end. But in North Carolina, within this nursing home, this nursing home, he's got some type of. His, his uncle put some type of stipulations on who can do, say, and what. So when it comes down to me trying to get in contact with him, I can never get in contact with him unless I just take that three-hour drive and go up there and pop up on him. Well, maybe you need to do so. It's called a restraining order. He don't want to be nowhere near you. I I'm might have curious. to, yeah. did, did you tell me that you were married last time? I said I was separated last time. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, any, I know I've, I've been separated since then. There was a time when separated people were on the show, but it became so much, I implemented the rule. But it's been such okay. a long, I thought it was like two years ago I changed that rule. Well, either way, girlfriend, well, now you got to be divorced all the way. So okay. I got if, you. if you ever make that happen, you can call me back. Thank you. Please don't. Right. See you later. Bye, baby. Well, I think I, I think you got a paid question if you want it. Huh? You want the paid question? We got a couple of paid questions. You want them? Okay, that's fine. All right, so here's some paid questions. Um, is she getting SSI for those kids because of him? No. No, okay. Antoine Crown said, how was the nursing, how how the nursing stopping his legal wife from seeing him? Because his sense? uncle, because his uncle is a legal representative over him since he's the one that moved him around after his mother passed away. So when I call the nursing home to try to get any information pertaining to him, I have to go through his uncle. So because his uncle is the one that's been in charge of everything since whenever. So even when I call Social Security office to try to get information about him with that, they can't give me any information because he's created this thing to where he doesn't want me to know anything. So he's making it hard pretty much. Wow. Wow. You must be a special kind of evil bitch in order to get the government in order for him to put a damn restraining order on you. And you don't even want to call it that. It's a restraining order. He don't want to be nowhere near you. The sharp silver fox said, Wow, the high this highlights how family court can shaft the man. Holy smokes. Um 
And then this one said, Dandruff video said, Kendra, hang up. Y'all didn't have no good interview and she not making sense, full of excuses. Well, thank you for your comment, but you can keep it. <laughs> Hater. Hater, and there you have it. Who the fuck is hating on your ass? Bitch, you work at you worked at Walmart. I can't talk shit because I worked at Walmart, but still, I'm doing a lot better than you. You got a whole four-year-old. And you got a fucking two-month-year-old grandson. What the fuck do you bros think this shit? You talk about, you think somebody hating on you? You you really think somebody hating on you? You mm. Whoo boy, this 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 is just this is the gift that keeps on damn giving. Boy, oh boy, this raggedy ass show just keeps on giving. Mm, mm -hmm. Anyways, like, share, and subscribe to the channel, support the podcast, and support I'm gonna see you guys on the flip side. Boy, oh boy. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to y'all later. This, this is that bullshit. Bye, guys.